The kittens turned two weeks old today, which is so hard to believe. I feel like they were born yesterday, and this past week has been a very big one for all of them. All of their eyes are now fully open, and the kittens are starting to move around a lot more, playing, walking, well, trying to walk, and interacting with each other a lot, which has been super exciting and cute to watch. Scrungus Odysseus gave us a little bit of a scare with a bald spot on his back. We had been watching this, and we were briefly worried that it could be ringworm, which would have been really not good because ringworm is incredibly contagious and we have six cats in close quarters. Also, we don't want to get ringworm, so it's just, just wouldn't have been good for anyone. We actually had to shave a little spot on his back so that we could clean it and wash it. And thankfully, it didn't end up being ringworm, but rather the spot was just a little bump on his back, which as we've been cleaning and disinfecting it, has been going down. Mini Natia has been leading the charge when it comes to walking, or trying to walk more realistically. The kitten's leg muscles are still developing, so they are really, really wobbly, and they shake so much as they try to walk, and it's totally normal, and it's just hilarious. Mini Natia has just been so bold in venturing away from her mom and the other kittens, and she's actually covered some serious ground. It's been very impressive. Cafe Ole is just enormous. He is by far the biggest of the litter. It's kind of hard to tell here, but really, he is huge and obviously super duper cute. Inverse Cafe Ole is also growing very well. She's a great size and she has just the sweetest little yawn. I'm gonna have to, at some point, make a video compilation just of her yawns. They just melt me every single time. The orange one has been named Dave and he is still the sleepiest, sweetest little thing ever. He and Scrungus are always either cuddling or fighting or sometimes both at the same time. He is just, I can't get over his stripy little tail. He is so sweet. Last but not least is Natia herself, also with an avocado for scale. She has been doing really well, definitely tired from the nursing, but she's being a great mom and has been snuggling with Jackson and myself when she needs a break from the kittens. We love her more each day. She is absolutely wonderful. So yeah, two weeks down, many more to go. If you wanna see more of these guys, you can check out my TikTok. We've decided on a few more names that we haven't yet announced. So I'll be posting about those in the next few days.